Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Attack on Titan Day once again. About to check out episode number 39 of season 3, Pain. So we just watched episode number 38, Smoke Signal, where we had the introduction of a brand new character called Kenny the Ripper. He's going to cause some trouble in this season. Season 3 so far has been interesting. The, the new opening soundtrack is different. It's really concerning to me that there's no Titans in the opening credits. So it's like it's lulling you into a false sense of security. We don't know what the Beast Titan is, what he's doing. He's going to rear his ugly head pretty soon and cause havoc, I think. But this show just goes from uh, strength to strength. It's, it's just a lot of fun. I was just browsing through YouTube the other day and had a whole bunch of reactors checking out Season 5. The one, well, we're up to Season 3 now, so it's not really a spoiler, but the one where Eren got eaten... Episode 5, Season 1, remember that one? It was just so cool seeing all the people just react to it, having no clue what was going on, myself included. I thought, interesting, getting rid of the title character in the first few episodes. Where's this going? But, you know, he came back and he was big, bigger and better for it. Because he, he, he became a titan. Questions unanswered. The basement, that goddamn freaking basement. We still don't know what's going on in there. That's been dragged out for three seasons now. And the reason why the titans are in the wall. So, so far, spoilers have been really good. I did come pretty close over on my Patreon. One of the guys just had a bit of a discussion about theories and stuff. And started having a few ideas that I hadn't really thought about before. But could be foreknowledge on his part. I don't know. But I'm okay with spoilers. Spoilers, I'm going in spoiler free, which is really, really nice. So, you know, that's why the comments are off. So, let's just dive into pain. Pain, it's called pain. Jesus, that doesn't sound promising, does it? All right, are you ready? As you know, this is a time of based reaction. Get the full thing over on Patreon, like I said. It's fun over there. Everyone's really cool. Okay, three, two, one, go. There he is. Kenny. He's a badass. Look at this guy. Kenny! Oh, in the face. Kaboom! Kenny versus Levi. Nice opening. Okay, so let's just study these opening credits here, right? So we've got, we've got the team. Eren, Armin, and Mikasa, like, going through childhood, it feels like. Season 3, Attack on Titan. Feels all safe, right? Children, they're children there. They're young. Season 2 characters. Now, Kenny. Young Levi. Erwin, Historia. I like the song though. The song is beautiful. I love the piano in it. So we've got the main trio. Is that young Aaron bumping into older Aaron? So his story is featured in the credits a fair bit. And there's Erwin as well. We're losing a shoe. The key to the basement. It's a nice shot there. 39. Pain. Bring the pain. Don't bring the pain. So Kenny's going to be bringing the pain. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. You just had to say it, right? Well, at least once. You're shooting darts. Oh. Kicked in the face. Comes Levi. Oh shit. Hello, who are these guys? This is sick. Oh, so he's in the military police. 
Who's that? Oh, how good is this animated man? Holy shit. Ho oh, <laughs> ho. Entrance. Oof. Like a cowboy. <laughs> He's a little bit freaky. So Levi's his protege. It's a rounded. You're going to burn him out. Yeah, it's just a fun hobby. Oh, shit. I was, I was smooth. <laughs> this is like a western. Wow. Shit. You're killing dudes. Yeah. Killing dudes good and proper. Sasha and Connie. Yeah, that's right. He's okay. So we're going to learn, about this, learn more about this character, I'm sure. His history with Levi. We're going to get some flashbacks. Guarantee it. Roger, Roger. <laughs> I 
I was just about to say that. Don't move. She's moving. Oh, he said don't move. Splattered the camera. Very nice. I, I can never read them quick enough. They'll be in the manga. So they... Too much excitement for the poor boy. Oh, he killed a human. They get away. She's always losing Aaron every season. So Armin's traumatized. Embrace the new you. Mm hmm. There's that as well. He did what he had to do.
Mm-hmm. Demo Reeves. Who kidnapped Astoria and Aaron? Where are they? I need a drink too. Again. Aaron always gets eaten. Oop. Surprise. Oh. -ho -ho -ho. Ooh, impact. Aaron will be eaten by who and why. <laughs> Who tortures without asking questions? Jesus Christ. Ouch. The king.
You can't feel sorry for the person you're torturing. You won't, you won't be able to get the job done. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Full playing him. God, his nose is busted up. Now he feels betrayed. Mind games. Smart. Race is the true royal family. Race? Race. And that's Historia is a princess. It's so hot and sticky here today, guys. I'm melting. Air comes on, but it's not reaching this room. Daddy bones. There you go. Levi Ackerman. So he found him on the streets and raised him and taught him how to be a fighter. Witness. The true royal successor. Yeah. He's the king. Okay, we've got some Titans in the ending credits. So far. I like the look of the animation in this. It's reminiscent of the show, but subtly different. So I think Astoria is going to have a very big presence in this season. What are these those in closing credits trying to tell me? It was very Historia focused, wasn't it? So we learned that she's Historia Rees and her father's the king. So she is the descendant to the crown. She's going to be, she's a princess. So has a, the story really focused on the royals at all before this point? I mean, do we know that there was a royal family in Attack on Titan anywhere? And if so, what does it mean for the city itself? Is the royal family behind the Titan epidemic? Or are they the ones who are going to be able to cleanse it? Interesting. So, Levi. Kicking ass against Kenny. Kenny looks like a badass. Kenny raised Levi at one point. So we're going to get a lot of backstory about him and Levi coming up. 
um, Mikasa and Armin doing that thing. Armin's got blood on his hands now. He's killed somebody, so he's not feeling too good about that. He's such a sensitive soul. He's more of the brains of the outfit. He doesn't really go around killing people, but he needed to save Jean. So you got to do what you got to do, right? And now, once again, Eren is under threat, kidnapped one more time, and threatened to be eaten. So, wait, he's being kidnapped by the royals, right? So they're going to eat him? Are the royals titans? Oh, interesting. Are they, like, the whole cause of everything? Who knows? I'll find out soon enough because this is Attack on Titan. This is what I do. I watch the show. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do the next episode right away. Like I said, stinky hot day. The aircon's on, and, man, I'm just sweltering in here. It's, like, super hot. But anyway, I will persevere. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.